On January 29, 2020, Timothy Mulligan set the newest Guinness World Record for the most accurate value of pi. After a grueling 10 months of computation running from April 2019, he calculated 50 trillion digits of pi on a dated but still powerful personal computer. Timothy used a 2012 era computer along with a very large array of 48 modern hard drives. Before him, it was Google employee Emma Haruka Iweo who held the world record. She and her team had calculated 31 trillion 415 billion 926 million 535,897 digits of pi, crushing a 2016 record by trillions of digits. She had used Y Cruncher, an application that anyone can download, running on 25 Google Cloud virtual machines. The calculation took about 170 terabytes of data and four months to complete. What is behind such lengthy computations? Why are they done? Of what use are they? To arrive at an answer, we must plunge deeply into the history of mathematics. There are certain ideas which run like scarlet threads through the fabric of mathematics. Each age finds its own particular interest in them and treats them in its own way. One of these is the number 3.14159265.35 which has come to be designated by the Greek letter pi perhaps it is more readily recognized in the rougher but simple approximation 22 by 7 pi is the circle number whenever there are circles to be measured or figures that have circles in them such as spheres cylinders cones Pi is sure to be of importance. It was recognized at an early period in history that the ratio of the circumference of the circle to its diameter is the same regardless of the size of the circle. This ratio is pi. The Greek mathematicians 2000 and more years ago concerned themselves with several problems relating to pi. First, what is its exact value? Second, Is it possible to construct using a ruler and a compass a square whose area is that of a given circle? This is the problem of squaring the circle along with the trisection of the angle and the duplication of the cube. It is one of the three famous mathematical problems of antiquity. The problems 1 and 2 are related to each other. The ancients used a variety of values for the number pi. Some good, some bad. A result which has a modern flavor is one given by Archimedes. He was able to provide this nice lower and upper bound for the value of pi. The method he employed was a rather good one, that of approximating the contour of the circle by polygons. Since Archimedes knew how to compute the lengths of the sides of the regular polygons with great accuracy, he was able to obtain information about circles. He used polygons with 96 sides. Archimedes's result stated earlier is modern in outlook precisely because it is phrased as an inequality. When mathematicians are faced with quantities which are hard to estimate or compute, they try at least to pin them in between two other quantities which they can compute. The Greeks were not able to obtain an exact rational value for pi. The reason is simple that pi is not a rational fraction it is a more complicated number though some greek mathematicians might have suspected this none proved it